The sudden withdrawal of all U.S. forces from northern Syria has led to an unexpected alliance between the Kurds and Syrian dictator Bashar al-Assad. The decision by the Trump administration has drawn bipartisan backlash. CBS's Mark Liverman reports. The White House is doubling down on its decision to pull U.S. troops out of Syria. Last week, President Trump ordered a few dozen soldiers to withdraw from an area along the Turkish border. We have American forces likely caught between two opposing advancing armies, and it's a very untenable situation. The move cleared the way for Turkey to launch an assault on the area's Kurdish population. The Turks consider them terrorists, but the Kurds have long been part of the alliance against ISIS. I can think of nothing more disgusting in all the years I've been in Congress than what this president is allowing to happen with the Kurds. Now Mr. Trump is expanding on last week's order directing all U.S. forces to leave northern Syria. Illinois Republican Adam Kinzinger, an Air Force veteran, reacted with dismay. You hear the president and people like Rand Paul talk about endless wars all the time, and it's kitschy. Uh, but actually, we were preventing an endless war, and, and, and that actually commenced on Sunday now, uh, a week ago. And so it's really depressing. Former Defense Secretary Jim Mattis warned of unintended consequences. If we don't keep the pressure on, then ISIS will resurge. It's, it's absolutely uh, a given. In a tweet Sunday, the president insisted he'd made the correct decision, writing, quote, very smart not to be involved in the intense fighting along the Turkish border for a change. Mark Liverman, CBS News.